Welcome to the Agile Lounge for Business Agility uh, YouTube channel, guys. It's your coach AF here. Stay here. We are having a special on this Friday, July the 2nd. We are going to do a quick tutorial on how to decipher a great Agile coach with my Talent Agile workshop coming up all the summer. So stay there. See you soon. So Coach AF here, Alexandre Frédéric Jenny, from uh, this uh, special edition of the Friday Live Agile, pre-recorded but in premiere, kind of live for you guys. And before going to the Talent Agile subject of coach interview questions, then I'm going to share some glimpse because I will invite you to my summer sizzling of two special training that we're going to do in person, hybrid, and of course still on Zoom. So you have a choice between room and Zoom. So in the description below, you will have all the link to actually um, subscribe and register to my trainings. So the Talent Agile for Talent Acquisition and Talent Broker will be every Wednesday afternoon at the beautiful Crew Collective. Or you could also have, for half the price, a Zoom session with me. So bring your team of recruiter. We are going to talk to you about these uh, how to hire a Scrum Master, a Product Owner, any other Agile or Scrum or Lean or DevOps type of people. But of course today, I just want to give you a glimpse. And before going to the art of the subject, I just want to say thank you to Sabrina Mercalino for our Bitcoins. Yes, because you could, we are not monetizing this uh, channel here, uh, but we accept the tipping on your appreciation of what we do for business agility and conscious leadership. So you could actually um, send us Bitcoin in Ethereum. So again, in the description below, you have all the link to give us your tipping. And we, of course, uh, we still accept fiat money uh, and um, Internationally, international currency, you could go through my PayPal me, no problem. And uh, we, for the Canadian, we accept also the direct interact payment. It's automatic. We don't need a pass here because we do it like this. So thank you for Sabrina for her Bitcoin last week. And also we have um, Mohamed Imbahe who sent us 50 euros. So thank you so much for this. And again, this week we had... Less, maybe the summer is kicking out in the Northern Hemisphere um, and people are more happy, it's more better now, the pandemic seems to go away, to go slowly, so probably people uh, will more listening and running with us with a Dare Real Agile podcast that I'm inviting you. We have two shows this month already, one with Daniel Mezik, amazing, open space agility, um, and also uh, he talked he taught us a lot of things about um, decision rights. A lot of people forget about decision rights. If you want to create self-managed teams and self-managed organization, you need to actually um, provide decision rights uh, to your stakeholders of all level of management. So today, this Friday, on this uh, episode 27, of the Friday Live Agile, which is a premiere because yes, I'm thinking of this Friday. I will be with great friends, with the dogs going away in the country. Hopefully all the weather will be great. And I would like to talk to you about a glimpse of my Talent Agile Workshop, specially built for talent broker and talent acquisition people, recruiter of all size. Did I just say like, usually I'm used to say like enterprise of all size, so now I just said like recruiter of all size, so my bad, I'm sorry about this, I'm saying, I'm kind of a bit deconcentrated, and by the way, I am right now, and let me, yeah, I'm telling you, this is a special, a special uh, things, and I'm, I'm mostly alone here, I won't have to wear my mask, and if you come in July and August, I'm gonna figure that out, 
how it's going to work uh, because we have to be agile even in our planning. So this is uh, mostly, it's a room here that I could do uh, some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching for my FLEP program as well as the um, Agile and Scrum Master coaching that I do. And uh, just to give you a little glimpse here. And this is like uh, the co-working space that I mostly work on the east wing that we call it. It's really echo right now, of course. Do I have my key? Yeah, my key because I could be stuck. And here you have the beautiful balcony. Do I do some coaching as well here, as you could see. Very comfortable, very nice balcony. So yes, uh, you could if you if you have a coaching with me, if you're one of my scrum master, you could come this summer, one on one, no problem. Some uh, business meeting that held here. I had some great, great, great uh, contract that I put. So so that's the thing. And unfortunately, I cannot walk that much without my face mask right now. But uh, on the other side there, this is the main room where I do training up to six people. But right now, even if they permit me six people in the green zone, I will leave it to about four people in person to come to the Talent Agile as well as the What is Agile introduction to Agility and Scrum and other things because we always tailored our workshop at the Agile Lounge for Business Agility Coaching and Training Center. So what you could do is when, yes, you could go to Eventbrite and subscribe, but one thing you could do even better, it's contacting us, either Anna, uh, Elizabeth, or myself, will pick up the phone and I will be able to uh, help you and take your uh, kind of, what do you want to know? Because we have a three hours intro to Agility. Yes, we have a corpus, but we could tailor it to what do you want to know exactly in these three hours uh, on top of the four values, the 12 principles, the major patterns of business agility that could use with, with the, the, the Scrum patterns and the Scrum system to tailor to it. So, of course, an introduction to see how much you could be ready with your team or within your organization to go to. And the Talent Agile, it's something where you literally, and I will tell you right now what you could learn into our uh, Agile Talent Workshop starting next July the 14th. And I will be this, the first session in person here or virtual, your choice. You are the customer. I'm providing you a guest and customer experience to your choice. So let's see it now. I'm gonna tell you, it's live. Even if it's pre-recorded, it's kind of live. So the talent agile. Well, 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 the connection is really slow. I'm glad I'm not necessarily kind of live right now. Ah, user experience again, but I'm gonna provide you a better user experience than that. Now I'm a bit confused why it is like this. No, okay, so let's do. So watch me that maybe either my indexation is not that good. Here you go. No, it's good. I just said Talent Agile Montreal and I'm right on my even break page. Because I just revamped it now after inspection and adapt. It's been four years. This is our signature pattern here. We are one of the rare who actually created and built this kind of training, which is a tailored personalized training, as I said, for talent broker and recruiter out there. So it's not at 150 if you take it virtual per person for three hours. So make the math, it's a very good price. And if you come in person, of course, I will have extra fees and stuff. So it's go up with tax included, I think around $300. So it's off the price if we take it on Zoom together. And you could have like two, three people here with me and other people on Zoom because I will have this beautiful camera to Zoom it with a nice mic and they'll be able to assist like a hybrid way. So we do it in person, full class virtual for class or an abradation of both. And what you are going to learn, what will I learn if I'm a guest of Alexandre Kochev at the Agile Launch for Business Agility and the beautiful crew collective? Well, you're gonna learn the Scrum roles and any other type of 
skill sets needed. Uh, when we say Scrum roles, of course, we talked about the Scrum Master, which is a coach, okay? Uh, the product owner, which is an owner, a business owner, whatever. So what is the role and responsibility of those two person? And how do they interact? Uh, because again, if you don't know subsension and the interrelation, you don't know Scrum. So we all, we talked about roles here and skill set, but also the interaction between them. And of course, after, there's no like kind of team member. Team member is what you need according to your technological or business context to produce. So do you need a business analysis with an agile mindset or not? So we could talk about the other roles that part of the team that you want to build. But we concentrate, of course, for you, the recruiter, when you're looking for a Scrum Master and maybe a product owner or someone who is a designer or a creator, a QA, and how they could be tailored to an agile, lean mindset or even a DevOps culture environment. So, and we're going to talk also, we're going to do this joke of how uh, do you, uh, <laughs> I, you're not hiring a DevOps, you hire uh, probably a sysadmin or an operational in IT, a support guy in IT that will be able to work in a team culture of dev and apps. So that's also something that we're going to be factual here, the real thing, not just the opinion of uh, someone. It's, it's the thing here. And also, in this workshop, you are going to learn uh, how to actually educate um, and interact a better way, a best way for the requester, those who request you, the recruiter, um, to have an agile coach or a DevOps. So I will I will give you all the tools, all the um, the component, the questions uh, to prob your customer, which is internally, or it could be also if you work in an agency um, for your external customer when they give you an order, a purchase order, like, ah, I would like to have an Agile coach and this and that. So, and is there a level in Agile about, is there a senior Agile coach? Is there a team coach? Is there not an enterprise coach? So we are going to give you uh, the capability of identify exactly the need of your requester for a job, for a talent, and also how to educate them uh, to uh, provide the best fit. So that's another thing. And also, as I'm a kind of a purist agnostic, and after my 20 some years experience from a scrum master to an agile and an enterprise agile coach, I think I'm able to uh, help you, give you some tools, again, in terms of question and questionnaire about how to um, decipher a real agile coach from a fake agile coach. Hmm. We're gonna dare like this, but of course, I'm I'm more with your Q and A and objective. So that's the main thing that you're gonna learn in this uh, two, two to three hours workshop. It's interactive, so you're gonna have to be prepared. So you could order your workshop, but then after when we confirm the workshop, we're gonna give you a preparation list of things, and you go out also with uh, a PDF guide that we send you um, before or after the training, depending on your demand and your Q&A. And uh, we are uh, also um, providing you with some cheat sheets and a questionnaire, a beautiful questionnaire in French or English. You have the choice. And uh, by the way, all of our services are offered in the two official language of Canada, which is French and English. So the coaching interview questions, these are the basic, okay? We, we, we provide you this. And of course, I won't tell you everything now, because if you want to know more, you subscribe and you register to one of our workshops. We we're going to have to have it every Wednesday or on demand. You could have it in the morning, at night, virtual, or in person again. So you could contact me and it will be a pleasure to tailor it to your need and your schedule. But we have at least to know it uh, five to six days in advance. So that's why I'm choosing every Tuesday will be the intro to Agility and Scrum. And every Wednesday afternoon, we're going to have the Talent Agile Workshop. But between this, we could actually, and if I'm available, if I'm not serving another client, we could actually uh, fix you the schedule of your choice to have this three hours workshop in a group, small group right now, 
Uh, if we do it all virtual, we could go up to about 10 people. That's okay. Uh, but as is really interactive, less is better. Okay, because we prefer to provide you with great intention and a Q&A kind of session about your needs. So when I interview Agile Coach, because yes, I'm doing it in my mandate, often my client, when I'm helping them transform utilizing the Agile value and principle, and to also from the principle that activate the patterns, there's the patterns also with HR. And for us at the Agile Launch, HR stands for human relation, not resources. We are not talking about resources here. We're talking about talent. We're talking about people, professional, people with skill, high skills in this complex world, uh, engineer, software developer, front end, back end, I don't care, uh, great designer, uh, service designer people, great business analysis, functional analysis, scrum master, coach, coach, and psychology, industrial psychology. So that is very important. So they are not resources. Resources are anything that you might need to build this iPhone that I'm recording this uh, show right now. So, and as a consultant, I'm always doing the balance between coaching and consultancy. This is very important. So when a client asks me, and this is real life thing, they ask me, could you help us actually um, interview uh, the Agile coach uh, that we're going to hire after you leave uh, within internally or whatever. So I created a guide and this is why I created that workshop, Talent Agile, because we see all of this. And it's very simple. There's about like four major questions that you could actually tailor and you do it to have a conversation. You don't want to have a bear of your wall type of thing. You want to have a conversation with your future consultant coach that could be uh, with you. For me, I like to do the on-demand next level Agile type of thing because I, I'd like to remind them that Elvis is going to leave the building. So you don't want to have a too much long-term, um, you could have a long-term relationship, but the mandate are very on-demand, tailored, and right to the point. So that will create a more autonomous way of those stakeholders, whether they are leader or um, the, uh, the, um, the workers. Uh, that produce the good and the services and the Agile ways. So, there's four questions. So, I'm not giving you everything here, but it's really, I just want to give you a glimpse of the type of training and workshop you could have with us at the Agile Lounge about Talent Agile. So, again, Agile Coach, Scrum Master, what is the difference? Tell me in the chat, tell me in the comment below. Tell me in the comment below for you, what is the difference between a Scrum Master and an Agile Coach? I'm waiting and I will answer you. So I'm waiting for your answer. But when I interview one of these person that apply for a role of an Agile Coach Scrum Master candidate, I explore their experience in helping people learn and grow, okay? Again, I remind you, Agile movement is people first over anything else. Doesn't mean that the anything else that include process and procedure are not important, but we value people first and their interaction. Okay? Remember this. So, I will probe them with example in their past experience. Um, and this is Taylor, of course, if you're looking for someone to help you speed up your uh, business transformation or the scaling of your business that should be more lean and agile. So, and the question you'll tell her it about, as I said, how do they learn from other people or do they learn for themselves and how they help it someone else grow? I want to see the coaching aspect here more than any other technique and patterns. Show me your pattern of coaching and consultancy. How do you help people? And also, something very important, whether you're an external consultant or someone internally that will be part of the family, we want to know, uh, we want to ask questions to help us, the recruiter, 
how the leader to understand okay how the candidate is conscious about how she enters the systems how she enter a team does she or he build her understanding through interviews or she prep questions or she just want to make some observations so it's again very kind of the behavior and the attitude the intention how do their people build relationship and their professional network as well some kind of outside type of question that will show you like if they're participate or not and some kind of scrum gathering scrum user group or lean thinking or design thinking stuff like this how many meet up they go so it's kind of type of question that you could ask to see how do they learn it's really important we'll ask them also to uh, give specific example about a time eh? about a time they even failed because if you have a five six years old uh, scrum master an agile coach in front of you and uh, she or he told you I don't know, I never fail all my team are winning team and everything is going well especially in Montreal right yeah Agile is so great, no failure. Question the validity of that person. Because we want to, we would like to actually in the conversation of this interview, we'd like to have the ability for her or he, or her or he, yeah, anyways. Uh, how do they learn from failure? This is the key thing when you ask those kind of questions. What type of environment they exist? And they could actually adapt themselves okay not only to their needs but to the needs of the team and to um, the VUCA how they could actually transfer and transform the VUCA and to something else so that's basically just a glimpse and today it's a Friday of holiday for both my major country Canada and United States we had Canada Day yesterday and this weekend, probably for Monday, we are going to have Independence Day. So this is why I'm doing it very easy here in my space in Montreal at the Cool Collective on Rue Saint-Jacques in the old Montreal. So you're more than welcome to subscribe and register to have this with you. And of course, a, bit, a bit more deeper, my four questions, I just give you, I just gave you like now a glimpse of two questions, but we're gonna give you those tools those questions, those suggestions to ask questions and to go deeper. And also you're going to learn in this beautiful, amazing workshop, the skill-oriented versus the title-oriented pattern to establish a great team, a capable team of responsible adults that could deliver to your customer the best experience with smarter ways they will uncover together. So again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next Friday with what? I don't know exactly. But just to tell you again, uh, on top of, uh, I receive a lot of comments from my subscriber, and thank you again to help me grow. Bring me to 1,000, please, here on YouTube, um, to, to unleash better way to, uh, because I, I, I can't wait to do a live with that. Or with my future camera on the iMac uh, M1 but uh, we are going to have probably some program this summer more relaxed uh, the Friday Life Agile will be sometime live sometimes premiere pre-recorded like today tell me what you think about it I, I'd like to adapt to to you guys I'm here for you remember that it's really important for me so tell me if if you prefer that or if we prefer that but we have a list of suggestions a lot of people were interacting with me privately in on LinkedIn about the edge agile failure the Titanic of those big framework and this complexity between the agile command and control central where we start hearing with um, uh, Daniel Mizik on the last uh, last two weeks and the episode of the day real agile episode 25 of their real agile if you'd like to find it on apple podcasts and spotify and the decentralizer so in, in time of chaos you need more agile uh, you need more agility but you also need more decentralization because if everybody does the same thing 
you might just create a monster problem. So that's maybe the upcoming show that's coming. Of course, I'm gonna, I, I wanna do what I kind of create for fun, the Make Agile, huh? a trio, a combo, one size fit all. Uh, that's coming too. And uh, of course, all the retrospective from the greater reset, people's reset of last May. I've got one episode done. I'd like to do four other. So we're going to go with the beat of the season, with the sunshine, not sunshine. But expect me to be always around noonish Eastern time, 11 Central, live or premiere for the rest of the summer, but with something more light and within half an hour. So, uh, and again, suggest me any type of topic on business, agility, conscious leadership you would like uh, to hear. And if you'd like to have also maybe some short casts, 9 to 10 minutes type of things on tips, on tips from an agile coach, from the trench, right? So on that, I wish you a beautiful Independence Day weekend for my American fellow and a beautiful weekend to everyone. So it's Coach F. I'm signing off. I'm leaving the building and see you soon on my room here or on Zoom. Cheers. Thank you.